All right, in this video, we'll learn to use Pixel RE. So let's get into it. This is the opening interface. We have some templates right here and you can click on one to start editing. You also have your history, but history is saved temporarily. We can open an image or create a new one with those buttons. When you create a new image, it shows a few sizes and this little section to create a custom size image will give this project a name and set the resolution. You can add a background color, but I'll create an empty image. This is the main editing interface. We have most of the tools to the left, menu items on the top and navigation, layers and history to the right. You can hide and show those from here. We also have smart resize and animations that we'll cover later. To open an image, go to file and open image. I have this image of mine that I'll use in this tutorial. If the image is too big, Pixelar suggests resizing it. You have a few sizes with an option to insert a custom size. I'll choose this Ultra HD version. When you select a tool, you will have sub tools on the top. Pixelar is a massive program and covering every tool is challenging. So we'll focus on the common tools that you need in your daily life. To work on this image, we must unlock it. If you see this tiny lock option, click on it to unlock the layer. When the arrange tool is selected, we get those options in the top bar. You can rotate this layer, flip it or animate it. You can also change the size and position. First, we'll understand the selection tools. This selection tool lets you create rectangle and circle selections. You can select an area and move it with the arrange tool. You can also copy and paste selections from this edit menu. To deselect selections, go to select and then click on deselect. This lasso tool is an advanced selection tool. It has four options. The first free tool lets you move your mouse pointer with your mouse button pressed. When you leave the mouse, the selection is made. The polygon tool lets you make points to make a selection. You don't have to have the mouse clicked. Just a click and move in a different direction. This tool is the most advanced and can help select objects in complex images. The magnetic lasso tool automatically detects the colors and makes the point. All you need to do is make the first point and move your mouse. It's not fully accurate but good enough for simple images. Let's see how to remove the background. There are multiple ways. You can use the polygon tool to make a selection, but Pixelar has an option that automatically selects the subject. Go to select on the top and choose select subject. If the image is not complex, we'll see a perfect selection. Next, go to edit and click copy. Then go to edit again and click paste. Lastly, delete the previous layer or deactivate it by clicking on this tiny icon. We have the background removed image. We'll move this image to the new image. Right click on this image and copy layer. Then right click here and paste layer. Let's resize it with those corners and position it here. We'll explore the text tool now. Enable it from here and draw on the canvas where you want to type. You will see the text options on the top. Let's type the main title. I want to change this phone to something else. Also change the phone size. Pixelar has text format and styles on the top. Let's increase the line height. Here we can do cool stuff with the text. You can add a background but I'm interested in this outline feature that will add a stroke. Clicking on color activates the color picker. You can click anywhere on the image to take that color. We have the outline size, distance and direction options. I will also enable shadow. Adjust those options to make it look nice. I think the text will look nicer at the top. I will increase its size by dragging it from the side. 
then position it to the top. Looks great. I have downloaded a free image that we'll use as the background. Let's open that image and unlock the layer. I will go to edit and copy this layer and paste it into our image. Resize it and position it perfectly. The image is blocking other layers. This is because this layer is on the top. Drag it and move it down. Each element in pixel R is saved onto a different layer. Right clicking on a layer shows its name, lock and unlock, opacity and blend options that blend the layer with others. Let's add some blurriness and gradient. Choose the background layer and this blur tool. You can adjust the tool size from here and strength from this section. 57 is good enough. To blur out the parts, press the mouse button and move around. The blur tool will only affect the selected layer. You can also blur the whole layer by going to filter, then details and then blur. Adjust this slider to add blurriness. Next is gradient. Choose this tool and select a gradient combination from here. This looks more like our background so I'll click on it. Now we'll create a new layer by clicking here and then choosing empty. This is because the gradient will be on a separate layer. Click here then drag the mouse toward the other end. Hold the shift key to make a straight line. We can see the gradient but right click on this layer and reduce its opacity. This will give a nice gradient effect to the background. I'll also add shadow to my subject. Select this layer and go to filter and choose drop shadow. On this panel, I'll choose a color from the image and adjust those settings. It's up to you how much of the shadow you want. I will keep it to the minimum levels. I have added more text here. We'll add the background style to it. It looks alright but can be improved. Okay, Pixelar has a free transform option to transform layers. You can drag from each corner or change options on the top. This is another handy tool to make those precise changes. To resize this whole image, go to page and select the first option. Pixelar has many built-in ratios that will automatically resize the image. We can also insert a custom size here and resize it. Let's put in 1900 pixels and click apply. Lastly, check out its animation panel. You can animate the whole image by going to animation or clicking this animation panel icon. Choose one of those and test them out. You can also animate a single layer by going to this tab. You can then choose the layer and select one of those animations. Those three icons are animation speed. Once an animation is enabled, the image will be converted to a video and can be downloaded as mp4. To save this image or video, go to file and save. You can then download it as a video. However, you can still download it as an image without the animations. Go to this tab. This last option is the pixel R file. So you can save this project and open it later. I'll save it as png. Here's our image. So this is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you need any help and take care.